Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All for the Nintendo DS. I'm Sam Wright TX, and I'm Solid Snake. I know you guys have been waiting two extra days for this trial, and finally it is here, when we last left off. Um, we entered the courtroom, and Shelly the Killer took the stand. And, well, we did um, press him on his um, statement, and he stated his real client. And his client was Adrian Andrews. But we all know that is not true. But he's just doing this to um, make the acquittal easier. So, um, we are now left with a choice whether to request a verdict now or make the trial continue. If we request a verdict now, then the truth will never be revealed to the courtroom. And Adrian Andrews will go to jail. And for me, I cannot live with myself if I let that happen because the real murderer is going to go, you know, Matt on guard, so... And we already know that Matt on guard has um, got his dirt on the gun assassin, so... We're pretty much going to request the trial to continue because we want the truth and nothing but the truth. Phoenix? I can't do it, Mia. I can't, as I can't accept a not guilty. You are a lawyer. I know. But... But Man of God is a killer. A murderer. I can't. I can't let him get away with this. I can't let someone else take the fall. If I let Miss Andrews be convicted, then I am no better than on guard. And even though I don't want to admit it, I want to I have to face the fact that it is because of Edgeworth that I am now that I now know the real truth. He couldn't have gone on guard convicted so he could have got on guard convicted so many times over. But he never took a single one of those chances. If I take this verdict right now, I'd be betraying his trust. His trust? Yeah, you just said that to be honest, and I'm surprised you even said that. Me too. I mean, he's had a grudge towards Edra for so long. But for him to say his trust, that is pretty damn good. He's come a long way with Edgeworth. I agree, yes. I never thought about it until now. I? I trust him? Yes, you do. Well, she does read our mind. <laughs> Mr. Wright, your opinion, please. The defense requests that we be allowed to further question Mr. De Killer. Uh, am I hearing you correctly, Mr. Wright? Right. But, but, that witness has cleared your client through his testimony. Your job here is done. I'm not done yet. To see through this witness's lies and find the truth. That is my job, Your Honor. Huh? There's still more evidence to look at. And I'm sure that once these pieces arrive here in this very court, a miracle will occur. Smack. Very well. The trial will continue. Mr. Edgeworth, please re-establish your connection with Mr. The Killer. Right away, Your Honor. Has a verdict been reached? Before that, we would like to talk with you a little more. About... Oh wait, oops. About... All you needed from me was the name of my client. What else could you need me for? Well, actually, we would like to hear everything you know about this case. That is how things are usually done. What is he talking about, usually done? But, what shall we have him testify about now? Mr. De Killer, if you don't mind, please testify about your client in more detail. You legal people and your procedures. Is there any, is it any wonder no one likes to go to court? <laughs> All right, we're gonna read his court. Uh, read his court. Read his testimony. All right. As I have already stated quite a few times, Adrian Andrews is my client. However. What? One thing I simply cannot overlook is tampering with the scene of the crime. My client did it to frame another for the crime. 
Well, I pretended to be the first person to discover the body and wanted to see. Adrian Andrews already knew from the very beginning that Ron Corridor was dead. But even more appalling is the creation and planting the knife and button. That act is what I was referring to when I, s when I said my client had broken the rules. Okay. Sounds a bit reasonable. Looks like I'm going to be pressing all of his statements, to be honest, because, well, I'm going to have to. Because, you know, I just have to. Mm, this is the most unexpected turn of events for the uh, fifth time now. However, this time everything has finally been revealed. Objection. Just a second, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth. We still have a cross-examination to do. But you don't need to question the testimony like this. Do you, Mr. Wright? Uh, Your Honor, the defense will question the witness. As if, I've ha as if I have a choice here. No, we don't. Ah, huh? Why? What is this? What this witness has said is nothing but beneficial to the defense's case. If you scrutinize the testimony, then... Then I'll expose the lies of that oh-so-beneficial testimony, I suppose. I don't understand what's going on anymore. <laughs> Poor judge. That makes two of us. Alright, let's go. We're gonna keep going. Because we have no choice in the matter of speaking. Hold it! Hold it. Huh? What is it, Mr. Wright? If I press him the wrong way, it might raise suspicion on his end. But I have to do something to waste more time. Uh, witness, about requesting the hit. Yes. How much is your fee? I see you are also quite a dark-hearted man, Mr. Attorney. Huh? If you would like to talk business, we could do it after the trial. Ah! No! 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 I'm not thinking of hiring M -m 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 Mr. Wright! Y yes You 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 want to kill me! You want to be dead, don't you? <laughs> oh god No job <laughs> No judge, we know what you did what? Why would I think? Why would you think something like that, Your Honor? Guilty, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You are declared guilty. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Oh God, I'm so sorry. I found that funny, man. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have pressed that statement. <laughs> I shouldn't have pressed that statement. <laughs> I haven't been like had to press that statement. <laughs> Witness, let's continue. Why did you disclose the name of your client? They are your clients, are they not? <laughs> Hold it! Table smash. I would think that most people wouldn't be able to overlook a person hiring another to kill. If I had a problem with such a thing, I wouldn't be very effective at my job. Uh, yeah, well, a change in occupation would be good for you. However, I will say this. Even though I am the one who does that... Sorry, sorry about that. Even though I am the one that does the deed, my clients are always the real guilty party. That goes without saying, Mr. Tequila. And their fate is to live with their, the knowledge of their guilt on their shoulders. However, my client this time thought that, that they could run away from their guilt. Hold it! Are you talking about the button and the knife? Yes, and my business card. Oh, this card. 
So that no one has time to waste their time, including the police. I always make it a point to make things as easy as possible. You try to make things easy? My business card makes it very easy to identify who carried out the service. He's pretty devoted to his work. But to disregard everything, to go and stab the deceased with a knife. And even hide my card from sight. That is something I cannot overlook. Hmm. It's really hard to tell if he's being truthful or not without him being here. Hold it! So you're saying most clients wouldn't do such a thing? That is correct. Usually, most people try to create an alibi for themselves. If you should use my services, Mr. Attorney, I would suggest you plan for your alibi too. Ah, uh, no! I already told you I have no intention of ever using your services. Why does he keep looking at me like I'm the one on trial here? Well, you've been on trial before, so he has a right to look at you like that. <laughs> Hold it! From the very beginning? That is correct. From before my client visited the room. All of my clients know precisely what the situation is at all times. I wonder if that really, if that's really true. That's odd. Huh? Hold it! I'm pressing every statement as usual. So why do you think your client did that? What do you mean by why? Well, fiddling around at the scene of the crime is pretty risky. And why would someone who has requested a murder go to the crime scene anyway? That is true. I assume it was probably done to frame Mr. Rungard. If that's the case, then why didn't the person just request that you do it? Sadly, that is not possible. Huh? My job is to kill, that is all, and I leave my business card behind, naturally. The business card is so my clients may escape blame. To protect them is my duty. Hmm. Even if they say it's for revenge, set it someone else up to take your fall. Hold it! And that is why you have to test. And that is why all you have to test. And that's all you have to testify. Yes, and I pray that I will never be called to the stand again. Again? As in, you plan to continue? I must, as I have yet to find a person to take my place and become the fourth successor. Actually, how would you like a new life, Mister? Tony. Excuse me? Ah, no, 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 I'm fine, really. Are you really now? <laughs> oh, Jesus, Judge. I wonder what kind of man the Judge thinks I am now. He probably thinks you're going to be a killer in the future. What are you going to do now, Phoenix? All I can do now is expose the lies. That's true. However, you realize that will be uh, very bad for our own client, right? Yeah. I'm so confused. But the one thing I know for sure is I can't let this trial end yet. Alright. So I pressed every statement. Now I'm going to go to one other statement. This, whoops, this one. Adrian Andrews already knew from the very beginning that one corridor is dead. Well, that contradicts the evidence because she told us that sh she got him a glass of tomato juice thinking he was alive, so she wanted to wake him up and whatnot. So, yeah, let's present the wine glass. Objection! Objection! If 
Thank you so much for taking the time to testify, Mr. De Killer. What is the meaning of that attitude? When Adrian Andrews entered the victim's room, table smash. Your client had no idea that Juan Corridor has been murdered. But how? How do you know that? From this wine glass, Your Honor. The glass? Mr. De Killer's supposed client thought Mr. Corridor had only fainted. Which is why the, this glass of tomato juice was poured up for the victim. But isn't that just part of Adrian's Andrew's calculated plan? That is not possible, Your Honor. This glass bears the fingerprint of that person. Had this been planned, they would have never left their fingerprints behind. I see your point. Mr. Andrew, what is your opinion? Strangely enough, I had the same exact thought just now. Witness, how do you explain this strange phenomenon? Isn't it a waste of time to ask about such a minor detail? It's not very it's not a very important point anyway, correct? I wet my finger and I give a smug smile. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm afraid you are mistaken. If Adrian Andrews really is your client as you claim, then your client should have acknowledged Sorry, then your client should have had a knowledge of Mr. Oh, knowledge, sorry. Then your client should have knowledge of Mr. Corridor's death. If not, that, then that can only mean that Adrian Andrews was never your client at all. How strange. Yes? Why is. Why is it that that attorney has yet to raise an objection at that absurd situation? Huh? Phoenix, if the killer figures out what we're up to, we're in real trouble. Yeah, I know. Objection. Mr. Edgeworth, I'm surprised. You know you can't say things like that without any evidence. Ah, uh, sorry. Huh? That, 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 that sounded like an awfully weak objection to me. Anyway, I am positive that there is a contradiction in that testimony. The prosecution requests further testimony concerning when the request was taken. Very well. Right now, I have to... I have... Sorry. Right now, I have to buy us some more time. While we wait for the items the killer left behind to get here... I just know that the very outcome of this trial lies within those items. Request taking. Okay, we're going to read his testimony and then call it a video. This request came to me, oh, about a week ago. It was a request for my services on the night of the reward ceremony. We met at a certain bar to discuss and finalize a few matters. That is what occurred. I trust my memory, and I believe I have made no mistakes. Hmm. So you physically met your client, huh? That is correct. Meeting one's client is the first step to building trust, in my opinion. I see. Well, Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. Well, this cross-examination is going to have to end right here, because... When we come back, folks, we will cross-examine Shelley the Killer's newest testimony. Until then, until then. Thank you guys for watching. This is Samurai TX, Solid Snake, and the birds, signing out. Take care, everybody.